<laughs> oh, you're so mean. <laughs> All right, picked up my shuttle drivers and we are off like a herd of turtles. We should be on the water by the, well, I should be on the water by the crack of noon. <laughs> and always, always when you get a shuttle driver, make sure you buy them coffee. <laughs> like that, I get another bass. Look at that, baby. There's in the water already. Ashlyn's killing mosquitoes in the truck. My god, I just soaked myself in bug spray. I stepped out of the truck here at the Gamble Lake Access. A little hazy and smoky today, but the mosquitoes when I stepped out just completely covered my legs and arms and I got bit about 10 times in the first 30 seconds. <sighs> Light of smoke, that's the way. <laughs> Oh, you want to play? All right, I got to unload. Hey, we're on the water before the crack of noon. It's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> and uh, we're going that way, down river. <sighs> You're all set, eh, Tuck? He's like, all right, we're ready to go. Let's hope it's... Uh, too uneven then I'll put the food barrel up front or something but or the bag up front but then Tucker will definitely fall in all right in reach ready to go life jackets paddle we'll be all set thank you to my sister brother-in-law for being my shuttle drivers Bye, they're recording me leaving. Bye. It's always nerve-wracking watching your supply vehicle drive away and leave you in the middle of the wilderness. Middle of nowhere, no way to communicate <laughs> in reach. <laughs> All right, wind's taking me the wrong way. I'll see you later. Safe travels home. Yep. Well, we're lost already, Tuck. <laughs> no, I think the river channel goes down here. So peaceful, so quiet out here. Oh, I've been looking forward to this trip. This is uh, one of two trips I'm doing this year. I'm uh, going all the way down the Lady Ellen River to uh, ending up Mullet's Landing. So, and the smoky haze you see in the air, that's from a local forest fire that's under control now, but still smoldering. And uh, a book I brought to read reflects that. It's a Hop Wilson book called River of Fire. I said that will be the perfect book to read this trip. But uh, I saw a campsite right up in there. It was the first one. It's still Gamble Lake. The wind's taking us the other way. But uh, we're good. Just so quiet, so peaceful. Nice and shadow. Now entered the river. Just left the lake. We're going that way. Wind's taking us the other way. <laughs> As we come to a stop. <laughs> yeah, it says gravel shoots, and I've seen videos where people had to get out and walk. <laughs> Just stop here, and it gets deeper. I'll have to give us a little shove. I hear water ahead. So yeah, they're getting close to rapids already. I didn't think so, but maybe. Um, uh, this is Chance Lake. Uh, you can actually drive to this point too. This is about the furthest you can come by vehicle. And actually when I booked the site on very expensive Ontario backcountry <laughs> camps, $32.50 a night, 
Yes, Ontario Parks, I am going to jab you at that all week long. That's ridiculous. Anyways, this is the official kickoff point where I said, because uh, uh, Gamble Lake, for some reason, wasn't on it. Uh, Chance Lake was, so I said, okay, it's Chance Lake, and ending up while it's landing. <sighs> I hear water. We may have to... Oh, there is a, yeah, there is a little portage coming up. That's right. So there's the portage right here. Wondering how bad the rapids are. Maybe I'll just line it. I'm going to pull up by the portage and get out and see what I'm dealing with. It's only a 100 meter portage, but it might be easier to line it down there. So this is all it is. I'm like, well, we're just going to crawl our way across here. I'll probably have to get out and walk it or whatever. But if that's all it is, I'm like, I ain't taking that trail. Unloading everything just for this. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> There's a lot of bumping and grinding, but we did her. So I bought an Expedition Kevlar canoe. <laughs> a little tougher than the regular Kevlar. <sighs> yeah. That was a whole lot easier just running it. Hopefully we can run a few of them like that. Skid plates worked. <laughs> Bumping and grinding. I don't even know where that must be right here, the portage trail. And I let Tucker out. He was whining he wanted out. And I might set up the GoPro and my fishing line and maybe do a couple of casts here. Tangled up already, eh, Tuck? Swing around the eddy. We're just gonna crash right into here, that's all right. So, as you notice, right at Gamble Lake, as I was taking everything out of the truck, my rod broke, my well, my reel broke, the handle broke off it. And I'm like, yeah, that's the first challenge. And then, uh, when I got coming down the lake, I'm like, oh, I better look at my map. I'm like, well, it's a good thing I, uh, I took pictures on my phone of my map route. Because, yeah, the map is sitting on the coffee table at home. Yep. <laughs> and I forgot my tripod for my other camera. So I'm like, well, things go in threes. I hope that's it for this trip. <laughs> but, hey, we can make this work. Like, we can still, yeah, we got this. My sister said, you got this. You can make that work. And I'm like, sure I can. No problem. Finger exercise. <laughs> so I got to crank them in. Well, that could be a different story. And I was going to bring a spare reel. I said, well, I should bring a spare reel just in case. Well, and I didn't because I said it's just extra weight I don't need. Can't believe I actually ran down that with a canoe. There's a lot of bumping and grinding, but we did her. One more cast and we'll just keep going. Or maybe we'll just tangle right now. Yep. <laughs> That's not a I reeled her up too much. Oh, how'd you do that, man? third man put the lure away 
So all I brought is a little wee kit for uh, fishing. Hopefully I don't lose too many lures because I didn't bring very many. <laughs> all right, well, before these storm clouds blow in. Push off the rocks. And we're gonna continue down the river. We're on a rock. Continue down the river. Catch you later. <clears throat> so this is where the river forks up here. But you go to the right. I'm just loving the landscape on this river like I was just thinking to myself man every bend in this river has a different view it's just it goes from lake lake to creek to <laughs> it's just wild I see why everybody comes here and yet this is my backyard and it's the first time I've actually done this river <laughs> I've been in this area a lot like like I come for Sunday drives down here all the time to like Gamble Lake and down Beauty Lake Road more and down to the Montreal River which goes up into smooth water and or down to Stumpy Lake. But I've never came down this river so. And yes the deer flies are out and horse flies and they're not too too bad yet but they're bugging Tucker more than they're bugging me. Maybe I'll let him out again since he's whining to get out. There is a campsite right up here. It's not the one we're staying at tonight, but uh, on my map it says there's a campsite on the point here. So we'll see. I'm gonna go grab some snacks too. I had uh, breakfast and coffee and all that, but it's now 20 to 1. Almost hungry for some lunch. But uh, we may go further today than I was expecting because I thought, ah, if I get down to that point, it's, it's about 9 kilometers to the campsite I had picked out. Because after that you get into a whole bunch of mini portages, 200 meter, 400 meter, 100 meter, 200 meter, you know, all that kind of stuff. They're all back to back. And there's one small campsite on one of those portages. But uh, I'm thinking I'll take the one before I get to all that and do all that stuff tomorrow. Which we, well, we should definitely be there by supper time anyway. Which is what I want. I want to get up each day and and then just paddle to about supper time, find a campsite, and that's it for the day. It's uh, I'm on holidays, and the nice thing was I had booked seven days off. Then the boss had scheduled me one day, and then two days off. Like I was scheduled next Sunday. Today's Sunday, and then I had Monday, Tuesday off. Well. I just contacted another driver and said, hey, you want a bonus shift? Like right before I came on this trip. And he said he'd gladly take my Sunday shift for me. So I'm like, all right, now I'm off for 10 days. <laughs> take my time is all I'm saying. Campsite. Yeah, it's, uh, he did have to pee tuck. It's labeled as a small campsite, so. Definitely. Hey, there's even a thunder box at this one. According to the sign up here. Oh. It's not a bad spot though. It says there's a thunder box. That's a tent site there. Oh yeah, right here. And say it better be thunder boxes for 32.50 a night. <laughs> yep. All 
Nice. Get out, stretch your legs a little. We'll keep keep on paddling. Jerry Vandiver's song says paddle on. When everything's going wrong, just paddle on. There's a nice tent pad right here. Beauty. You can get a two or three tents in here, no problem. Another spot right here. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to dig into the food barrel and grab something out of there. Make a wrap. Yeah, I got some wraps right on top I can make. And we'll continue on. Alright, so, uh, yeah, lunch stuff's right on top. That's lunch today. <laughs> yeah, I even brought cheese. I'm going to try and eat up the cheese. Uh, hopefully that cheese lasts long enough but uh should go a few days out here anyway but cheese and uh, some summer sausage on a wrap that's what i brought for lunches this week and uh, mostly freeze-dried stuff for suppers yep bon appetit this is adjusted right so this is we started here at gamble lake at the access Came down to those gravel chutes that you saw me have to get out and walk. <laughs> Stay on. Uh, we ran that rapid. We didn't portage to 100 meters. And this is where we're at right now. And then we go downstream here. There's a big campsite here. That's not where I'm wanting to stay. But I was thinking down here is where I X marks the spot. That campsite's the one I chose and the horse flies were just checking out the map too to make sure they know where I'm gonna be so yep that's uh, the plan and for tomorrow this is what I was talking about with rapids 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 rapper <laughs> whole bunch of rapids and portages are all around and uh, this one last one says shoots do not run so I won't run that one I guess you can maybe run the first couple if the water allows it. And then there's a falls here. So I'm like, well, we'll definitely be portaging that one, 200 meters. But I was thinking tomorrow if I stayed at this campsite here, then I can deal with all that tomorrow. Although there's, well, there's two campsites during those. It'd be nice to stay on McPherson, but I'm hoping maybe tomorrow we'll get all the way down to Catherine. That's what I'm hoping. This river changes so much. Every bend it seems there. Every little section is different. Look at this, there's a little trail through here. I'm assuming this is where all the canoes come through. <laughs> Shortcut. Rubbing is racing. So, so amazing, so beautiful, so peaceful. I had a few ducks fly by me quacking, a couple of gray jays. But there's absolutely no sound of humans other than me being the noisy one I am out here. Beautiful. So right here is where I believe this is it. Yeah, it is. 
This is where the old logging road crossed. They had a bridge across here at one time. Way back in the days, the early days of the loggers. And uh, this is one of their access points where they cross the river. But as soon as it became a park and it was all protected land now, they took out all these bridges. Which is a good thing because being local out of this area, everybody seems to have an ATV or side by side or four by four trucks. And, and what they would do is they come down all these logging roads and would access right into the parks where they're trying to eliminate all the motorized vehicles, obviously. So I was really happy when they pulled out all the bridges. Canoe travel only. But this road is on my topple map. I believe it's a campsite up in there now. I think it showed that on my map. Which makes sense. Turn the road into campsites. That's a perfect idea. Oh. Throw away that rod, we don't need it. <laughs> Whee! A little bit of a swift here. Oh yeah, there's a little spot to pull up the canoes. Nice. Yeah, that one was labeled as a large site. Came with a group of people. Stay in that one. We are continuing on. So, there's the portage into Dee's Lake. If I was going to head up towards Florence Lake and stuff like that, I'd go up that way. Which is another day trip. But today we're just doing the river. There's so many, so, so many trips you can do in this area. It's just crazy. Did I mention how beautiful it is here? He sounded the alarm. Those whiskey jacks don't want me here. It was up in this tree here and it saw me coming around the bend and it just went nuts. Uh, like so much for my silent approach. They're letting the forest know I'm here. And it's shallow and weedy here. I'm barely paddling like we're just cruising down the river. To the point that it's only 2.30. And we're about within a kilometer. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like me here. I know. Oh, that's not Whiskey Jack. I don't know what that is. He's not happy with my presence, what that is. But yeah, we're like within a kilometer of uh, a campsite I was planning tonight, which was about nine kilometers from where I left. And I'm like, but it's only 2.30. So I was like, do I go on and pick one of the campsites that I'll have to stop and look at the map, I guess, and figure it out. Maybe I'll go down and pick one of the campsites. There's two campsites. The one at the beginning of all that fun stuff. 
all the portages, the rapids and everything. And there's one at the end of it basically. So maybe I'll just go to the first one there and set up camp there. We'll see. We'll check out the campsite up here. It's like this river just... Like where it gets narrow, it's pretty quick. You can actually see the current. You don't even have to paddle. Just trying to be quiet through here because it's very moosey looking. So wouldn't that be cool to come across a moose? But the birds are sounding the alarm. Intruder alert! So just as I shut the camera off, I'm like, we're at this spot already. So yeah, we're campsites right up here. This is the, uh, the branch. The south? South Lady Evelyn River. Because we're on the north. And now this is where they join and become one. Hello, dragonfly. <laughs> just chilling. So I came around and I saw the little orange marker. So quiet, so peaceful here. We'll get out and stretch our legs anyway, check out this campsite. This was my original goal, but I think I'm going to keep going because it's, yeah, it's 20 to 3. I've got lots of time. Be like, oh, <laughs> nice sand. We'll stop here. You talk. Uh, hey. I love these boats, they're so stable, you can stand in them. Yeah, I bought new water shoes. Did stand in there for firewood. The Thunderbox. Not a bad site. It's listed as a large site, but I'm like, it's not that large. I guess it is, yeah, because you got all over there too, so you can. What? Chapter two. Canoeing with the Cree. <laughs> it's like a audio book just came on saying, "Yeah, you should camp here." I'm like, I'm hearing <laughs> loons, and <laughs> that's just funny. Uh... Yeah, as long as it doesn't send out an SOS. It did that, my phone. My phone actually uh, sent out an SOS one day while I was sitting at home and having a drink with the neighbor. I had the OPP emergency response team actually call me and ask me if everything was okay. I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, my phone sent it out and I just said end SOS and so. He said, unfortunately, we had a lot of these lately. I'm like, really? Oh, there's a bush chicken right here. <laughs> Spruce grouse. <laughs> That's awesome. Seen some wildlife anyway. We saw three of them on the road coming in here. Tucker's gonna see it. He's gonna... Oh, he's got babies too. That's why he wasn't running. It's just ah. tree. No, Tuck. Come on. He had two babies with him. That's why he wasn't flying too quick. Ah. Hey, leave him. 
Come on. They're all into the treetops anyway. They're safe. <sighs> Stop interrupting nature. You're like, but that could have been dinner. <laughs> not here, Doc. Not here. <laughs> oh, decisions. This is a nice campsite. I kind of like this here. So maybe we will just stay here and we'll just tackle all this stuff tomorrow. That was the original plan. Then we can organize my gear a little better so that we can figure out what we're doing. Holy. We just got the tent set up real quickly. Tucker's scared he wants to out and early. There's a all kinds of critters in here. Mosquitoes galore came in with us because we're in such a hurry. But uh, that sky is black. I don't want to open the door because Tucker will run out. No, we're going to stay here and we're going to wait out the storm. The sky that way was just black and it's thundering. Shh, no. Hear that? I know, and he freaks out in storms to begin with, so. Alright. No, we're waiting out the storm. I hope my canoe doesn't blow away. <coughs> no, I know you're wanting to go hide in the canoe and whatnot, but. So that wind pick up. This could be a doozy tuck. Here we go. I hope we don't get hit with a tornado. It'd be cool to watch the storm, but <laughs> I thought, well, I'll get I could have got the tarp set up too, I guess. I'm like, yeah, I'll get the tent set up and we'll be good. I know, I know you're scared. It's okay. We'll be fine in here, Tuck. If you were outside, you wouldn't be fine. I pulled the canoe right up, so. If I hear it, uh. No, get off of there! If I hear it get blown over, then I'll run out. Face the storm. Uh-oh, pulling the peg out. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know, eh? I know, no way out, Doc. We're in it. This is it. Okay. I think I fastened it better. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, the peg was pulling out and I had to reach out and pin it back down. Oh, day. Day one. The good thing is the canoe's going to get washed out because it's going to fill it right up with water. Oh, hey, hey, Chuck! Oh, the skies were talking. I knew it was coming. Woo! Just uh, gonna plug in this. I guess my GoPro died. Uh, pull up the power supply. And it cooled right down, too. As the storm blew in, like the temperature dropped a good five degrees. Fun times on a Sunday evening. I'm glad, uh, I gl I'm just glad we made it back here. Because as I paddled up, it started thundering. I'm like, give me 10 minutes to set up. And just as I got it set up, it started raining. Holy duck. I wish I would have had that on the, yeah. As I plugged in the GoPro, it's like, 
the thunder rolled right around in a whole circle like whoa, 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 whoa. like oh. <laughs> shaking the ground and everything like that is nuts I know mm -hmm. I know I got you It's okay. I know that was a loud crack, eh? We'll use up this one. It's okay. I got you. Okay. He doesn't like storms, as you see. It's slowing down, Doc. I hung up my sweatshirt because I might need that later tonight. And it got a little wet. Yeah, just a tad. Big soaking spot right here. Oh. Just the one arm and one spot. But we're gonna try out this little doodad here. Yeah. It's a light and uh... There you go. Oh, I hope you put on the right end, eh, Ben? Oh, that saves me blowing up stuff, right? This is just my pillow. I'm like, oh, let's try it out on the pillow. Look at that. That's about it. Look at that, Tuck. Second wave coming in. Eventually we'll get get out to cook up some supper. Go check out the damage. Oh. Yeah, I knew there's a puddle here. I could see it. Looks like I'm just getting out of here. Holy! So nothing blew away. How much water's in the boat? A lot, I bet. And we're going to get back in the tent tuck. Because it's coming. Here comes another wave. Come, on. come here. Tuck, tuck, come here. <coughs> Anyone else remember playing in the mud? Drain away, drain away. I just used my little hatchet and made a little trail. Flipped over the canoe. I went to flip it the other way and the rod holder was there and it started popped a couple of the rivets out, but it's still good. Only two rivets came out. I'm like, can anything else happen? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get some supper on to go. <coughs> Third wave. This is uh gonna get supper on to go. I said I think we're gonna get hit again. Yep. I don't know we took third wave of the storm. It's never ending. I'm uh, feeling a little bummed out right now because I just remembered that with all that food I brought, I uh, I don't have coffee for the morning. We have no coffee. We got Bailey's for the coffee and cream. We got no coffee. I don't even think we brought a cup anyway, but that's not a big issue. We can, we can compromise. I got things we can use as a cup. Oh yeah, I got a little cup. 
I do have a little cup with me, yeah. But I didn't bring the coffee. What are we going to do in the morning without coffee? I don't know. Well, once we get down to Lady Evelyn Lake, I may stop in the camp and see if they got hands of coffee I can get off them. <laughs> I'm trying to dry stuff out, but... We, took, we did bring some entertainment for these rainy days. I downloaded a couple of uh, YouTube videos before I left. This is Lost Lakes. It's like over an hour long. We the bear with cubs we saw that the other day. Nice. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Gotta bring some entertainment with us, Ita. I find him on plane stuff like this. He calms down a little bit. So more like home. He's home in five minutes. Hey, you're rolling boil. I took the oxygen packet out. And uh, Oh, look at the mosquitoes, eh? Get the fork. Mosquitoes are interested in it. Looks like a lot of... A lot of water for this. But that's what they call for. Maybe eating them with a spoon. Probably will be, actually. Okay. Seal it up, mosquitoes and all, for extra protein. And we wait. 7.05. We'll give her 15 minutes or so. This is another luxury item I brought. It is a chair. And a thermosel. <laughs> I just like, hey, boat these bugs. This is just uh, made by Nice C. It's uh, not the high end Heliox or anything like that. But you know what? As I was telling friends of mine that made fun of it, I'm like, for 30 bucks, I'm camping in comfort. I think that's what it was when I bought it. That was. Uh, pre-COVID days and extremely high inflation days. <laughs> so it's probably worth like a hundred bucks now. <laughs> the way inflation's gone up so high. Hey. There you go. <sighs> Sit over here beside the thermosel. Oh, it's all wet. Yeah, we're gonna put the thermosel like right here between my legs, and hopefully, uh, all the bugs go away. I still hear them. What? I didn't bring you a chair. Is that what you're complaining about? Like, look at this. This is luxury, man. Ah, sun tanning out here now. Actually, I will say the thermosol does work because the mosquitoes just kind of vacated the area. Oh no, there's a couple around still. <coughs> it's working. There's none down here. <laughs> a couple buzzing my head still. <clears throat> Tucker thought I was going fishing. <laughs> Get a little sand off it. When you leave it sitting in the sand during a rainstorm, it gets pretty sandy. But I uh, put a little swivel on there. So we're good to go. Broken handle and all, as you saw earlier. But I'm like, ah, we can make her work. 
just a little more challenging that's all and it's been over 20 minutes now so that's definitely done mm. that's looking better now i looked after 10 minutes i stirred it up it wasn't quite done but yummy dinner is served the only thing i hate is i don't have a long spoon so what i usually do is i just cut the damn bag try to anyway I meant to change out this blade. My stomach is growling now. That just makes it a little bit easier. Okay. And this thermosol is really starting to work. Once it started smoking, mosquitoes vacated. Let's be like everybody else and just throw it away. No, don't do that, people. Do not leave your litter here. I'm actually quite surprised that this campsite's clean. But there hasn't been a lot of traffic, I don't think, this year back here. Because of the fire ban and everything, so... I'm going to sit right with this thermo thermocell. And we're going to eat. Oh, that looks good. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's not bad at all. This is supposed to be one of my extra meals. Because <laughs> I got some OTG meals, which are way better than these. But I'm like, meh, it was an easy day. We'll eat the crappy meal first. Hot. Tastes good. I need something to warm me up. So what's the odds? Is that it for the rain tonight? I hope so. I think we may zip this thing right up anyway. Just be safe. Because it'll be my luck. We'll get another one. Alright, I'm going to eat this. So this is my bear protection for the night. I don't know. It's not very far from the tent. But uh, by stacking it all up, the bear has to knock it over. I got bear bangers and axe and everything. If we got to fight off a bear. I'd rather hear him trying to steal it than uh, have it way back there somewhere. and He just walks off with the barrel. Leaves me hungry. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're going to call it a night. I was thinking of having a fire, but it's already quarter after eight. Pretty tired. Usually I'm uh, getting ready for bed by this time and in bed by nine. I know that's not how most people camp, but it's just my regular routine. I'm in bed early because I'm usually up early and I thought, well, why not just keep the same routine and be up early? Let me talk what you say. We're just going to. Crawl in the tent, watch the rest of that Lost Lakes video, and uh, maybe start reading that uh, Hap Wilson book I brought. And uh, that's about it. Pass out, go to sleep, I'm tired. He found his baby. I found, whenever I bring him his little toy to chew on, he knows his bedtime. So the last camping trip, as soon as I brought that out and showed it to him, he's like, oh, it's bedtime. I showed it to him now, and he grabbed it, and he was going to leave and go sleep in the canoe, I guess, but the canoe's overturned, so. And I'm like, nope, this is bed here. And remember this sleeping bag tuck from last year, the one you ripped? It's now yours. You can be in this corner or wherever you want to be. There you go. This is the book I brought. Uh -oh. oh yeah, we didn't get your bedtime treat yet. Well, there's no bedtime treat tonight because uh, they're all packed away. 
River of Fire, Conflict and Survival on the Seal River by Hap Wilson. Personally signed to Darren, keep the fire going, Hap. And or cut out into a bunch of islands. We're gonna do one on the way there and one and the other on the way yeah. back. So I'm glad I called in late early because you hear that? As soon as I got in the tent, it started raining. Good night. Lost Lake! Welcome up! <laughs>